As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to the angels, as he sees that slave of his standing up at night, go see what he's asking. Go see what she's asking me for. Oh my Lord, they're asking for your pleasure and for your forgiveness. Allah says to the angels, bear witness, O oh my angels, that I have indeed been become pleased with that person and forgiven that person. That's your time to get close to Allah and ask Allah for sins. So you got to take that first step of walking away from that sin. And that step forward is going to be at the night prayer. And that's where you say to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Ya Allah, I'm sorry. When everything's quiet, when it's just me and you, I'm sorry, Ya Allah, and I'm seeking your forgiveness. The last thing I will say to your brothers and sisters in this regard is don't belittle the small amounts of Qiyam. Beginning of the night, end of the night, middle of the night, two rakahs. Don't belittle it. It matters. Assalamu alaikum. Hello everyone. I am Hasna Jolai and thank you so much for clicking to this video. Currently it is 11.16 p.m. And today is Sunday night. I took a shower. Uh, actually, I watched a movie with my brother. I had dinner and then I took a shower. And now I'm finally going to bed. Okay, so recently in my in one of my previous vlogs, I told you guys that my overall goal throughout this fall slash winter seasons is to wake up at 5 a.m. in the morning and just make praying to Hajjad a habit. So that's the goal for this week. If I actually manage to wake up at 5 a.m. every morning and pray to Hajjad for a week, then it means that I can actually turn it into a habit and i'll just like keep doing that throughout the other like upcoming weeks as well uh however the thing is my goal was to sleep around like 10 p.m tonight but it's 11 it's because we unexpectedly watched a movie with my brother that's why i'm sleeping a bit later than i planned but that's no biggie anyways i just hope that i can wake up at 5 a.m tomorrow i was just like watching like wake up waking up 5 a.m for a week vlogs on YouTube and they kind of low-key motivated me not gonna lie I am also challenging you to wake up at 5 a.m. for a week and if you're a Muslim like me then just wake up and you know make a little bit more time with you and God and go pray to Hajjud because that's my goal for this week and I'm challenging myself basically so inshallah it will be a success anyways I have to sleep because it's like 11 20 and I want to like fall asleep until 11 30 uh, so yeah, see you guys tomorrow morning, inshallah. Welcome to the vlog, and I hope you'll enjoy it. Good morning guys, it is currently 5.54 and I'm not gonna lie, I do low-key want to go back to sleep right now. I think it's probably because I went to sleep after 11 p.m. So I really try to go to bed at least by like 10.30 p.m. But it's just, I don't know, it's hard you guys. Like even though I don't have much to do in the nights, I don't know how, but I maybe because of like procrastinating, I always sleep after 11 p.m. so in this video we will not only be changing our um, morning like wake up hours but we will also be changing our night bedtime hours because um, in order to wake up early in the morning you have to sleep early in the night so that you will also have like a good um, sleep routine like sleep schedule Anywho, at 6 a.m. sharp I will start reading Quran we still have five minutes for that so I thought that we would just like catch up and just have a little talking session this week i have a lot to do mostly it's work related i just love to be busy all the time 
uh, what do they say? Um, there was a there was a powerful quote about this. Um, oh yeah, an empty mind is devil's work shop or workplace. Was it something like that? I don't know. It's gonna be a pretty busy week ahead. Oh my god, I really want to sleep right now. Like earlier after I prayed to Hajjud, I was directly planning to get up and grab my Quran. But I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna lay down for a couple minutes because I, I can't. It's like, <laughs> I want to sleep. Um, but you know the feeling after you lay down on your prayer mat, after your prayer? I just, I love that feeling. Like every single time, it hits different. It, it's, it feels like a warm hug from Allah. Um, but yeah. It's currently 5.57 Anyway, so now it's time to read Quran
look at my pink socks you guys i know that looks like really embarrassing but i just love pink so i had to choose the socks oh my god Hi guys, today is Wednesday and currently it is 7.05 a.m. I'm holding up the flashlight because I'm currently in our balcony and it's obviously dark. Uh, actually, the sun just started rising. So I came here in my balcony to watch the sunrise and to also study Quran. From 7 till 7.30, I usually spend my time studying Quran. I also made myself coffee as you saw in the earlier clip. Yesterday morning, as you guys know, I also like made coffee and it was just so delicious i craved it for this morning as well um anyways so yeah i just i love the atmosphere right now i'm going to show you guys the sunrise in a bit um and it's just very peaceful like there's barely even anyone outside and by the way our view is the ocean which is also like very crazy and, and mesmerizing um so yeah this morning I woke up a bit later than usual I had to wake up at 5 I did but then I fall asleep until 5 30 and I woke up again and I I think I showed you guys the time I think it was like 5 30 when I started filming this morning I don't know anyway so uh, I woke up at 5 30 again and then went back to bed <laughs> till like 5 50 or something and around 5 50 I was like listen come on you gotta do this you gotta wake up so I kind of woke myself up, uh, it was very hard and difficult uh, this morning, uh, I just like my bed was really warm and the weather, weather is a bit windy this morning so I don't know, I just want to stay in my bed. But anyways, I'm very happy that I woke up, uh, I feel really productive and it is 7.07 so I better start studying Quran. This is the sunrise you guys, right now. I can't even imagine how prettier it will get later so... Yay!
happy November 1st, everyone. Today is the 1st of November. I'm planning to post this video next week, inshallah. So it will already be like the, I think the second week of November. I don't know. But yeah, anyways, today is the 1st of November. And yesterday, um, I did my November bullet journal spread, which I will be showing you guys right now. So let's check it out. Okay, so this time I went a little crafty. Uh, for example, I stick like this, um, what do you call this paper? Craft paper, I think? I don't know, I'm not sure. But basically, I stick this paper and then on it, I had like another bullet journal, like dotted notebook. So I basically, you know, cut a little from the dotted notebooks page and sticked it on here. It says November in uh, the short version of it. And also on the same dotted paper, I doodled these little drawings, basically. And I had, I received like new washi tapes, as you guys saw from my previous video from this brand called Journal Say. And uh, I also like used those washi tapes as well. I love how it looks minimal, yet it also looks like I, you know, did my best. I went like crafty, I went doodly, I went with calligraphy as well. So like, I, I love how there's a little from everything. And then here I have the calendar of november and it says be the energy you want to attract and that's a very powerful quote moving on i have a mood tracker page um and these will be the signs if i draw this leaf let's say on the first of november it means i had a good day if i draw this one it means i had eh, like it was a day and if i draw this leaf it means uh, i did my best and it was just not a good day uh, and here I have a positivity and negativity page. You guys always ask me, especially over on Instagram, you guys are curious about what I use this page for. So the thing is, every month I have a positivity and negativity page. And the reason why I have this page is because every month I, you know, go through, I mean, I'm sure we all go through some positive days, some negative days. And whenever I like go through a positive, uh, you know, situation, I just like immediately write it down to my positivity table which is this one or if i go through something negative for example if i go through a breakdown or something bad happens then i write it down here on negativity doesn't matter if that was like a personal issue or like a global issue uh i still like write it down anyway so uh, it's really good like especially when your month is done you just kind of like look back and check out what kinds of like situations you went through and if you have more negativity then you will try not to like go through the same situations again but if you like have more positivity it means that you should like keep doing those habits and those acts like those positive habits and acts so it's a really good page to like self-track yourself um and then uh, i will probably like do the uh, next week's weekly spread right here but so far this is November spread. I like it. I like how it resembles fall very much. But next month, inshallah, December. Can't even believe that we're almost done with 2023. But anyways, so yeah, uh, inshallah, this will be a healing month in which there will be justice for Palestine. Um, and I just want it to be a month where, you know, beautiful things will happen. We all will get great news, inshallah. So... Yeah, anyways, I have to post these uh, spreads on my Instagram story and then I'll plan the day. Okay, guys, it's me again and I just had breakfast. And now it's only like 8.47. I only have some editing to do and that's it, you guys. I can't believe I literally have nothing to do today. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. Um, all I have to do is to uh, go to my granny's later today because my uncles and my aunt is coming back from Kazakhstan. So uh, we have this thing like whenever someone goes abroad and comes back, we kind of like, you know, gather it all together as a big family and just welcome that person. Around like maybe 12 or 1 p.m. I will leave to my granny's. Okay guys, ignore the dust on my mirror. I have to clean it. But I am ready. I decided to wear this dress. Uh, I love it. It is very minimal, simple, yet chic, styly, a bit like sporty. I love it. And then I thought it was very simple. So I had this little um, pearl detailed necklace and my rings as well. 
and a little bag. I was actually not going to take bag because our grandmas, they live very close to us. However, I have a little cousin and he is ex expecting some snacks from me. So I have to stop by the market on my way uh, and just, you know, I need money for that. So I'm taking my bag. Anyways, I'm running late, so let's go. Muhib. Hadi. Muhib. At. I'm gonna go with the foam cleanser. Does not look like. Is that a lot? I think it's a lot. I have no idea. It's me. Um, oh my god, today was such an unproductive day, you guys. Um, as you saw from the earlier clip, all I did was I couldn't wake up at 5 a.m. today, which <laughs> I feel really mad about. I still feel really guilty, but I was just really tired. I couldn't even open my eyes. Uh, so, like, instead of filming the earlier clip with my camera, I filmed it with my phone. I was feeling so tired that I couldn't even get up and get my camera from uh, its battery. I was charging it, by the way. Um, so, yeah, anyways, uh, I got up at 7 a.m. this morning. I prayed Fajr and just moved on with my day. And then, um, yeah, ever since 9 a.m., I have been editing a goddamn video. See, that's why, that's the only thing I don't like about editing. It just takes my whole day. I am a perfectionist. I always try like new ways to make my videos look more aesthetically pleasing. I try new filters, new effects, new stickers, new texts, new fonts, new nasheeds. And let me tell you, it is really hard to find no copyrighted nasheeds. So that's why the vlog I just edited today, I did not include any nasheed in it, except for like the one um, that I usually put in my vlogs. And I only use that nasheed because uh, I this the vlog I just edited it's a sponsored vlog and it was just showing like a package I received and like the package unboxing part was so silent I had to use a nasheed but at the same time I don't like the nasheed I use it's like I don't know it's a little bit annoying <laughs> not gonna lie because the vocal goes like and I don't like that kind of nasheeds and I want my videos to be perfect so Please, I beg you, if you're an artist, a Muslim artist, do uncopyrighted nasheeds and I will use it, okay? I will promote your nasheeds. Please do it. You have no idea how you will help me, like how big of a help you will be. But anyways, the whole day it was raining and right now uh, there are some like lightnings and thunders going on outside, which I love. I was planning to work out earlier today and then take a shower, but then I was like, you know what? My first priority today is to finish this video, inshallah. And I finished it. It's currently exporting. Um, so now I am going to work out and then take a shower. I'm planning to use the new body care set my aunt gifted me yesterday. I'm basically speaking just because I don't want to work out at this point, so... Let me go and work out, move my body. Because my back, I can't feel it. I've been on this chair for the past, like, I think six hours, six or seven hours. And my back, oh my God. It's like, oh, snow, please stretch me, I'm dying. Okay, BRB.
it's currently 4 9 p.m and today i had a really really productive day so far and it looks like it's gonna keep being productive because later today me and my mommy will go to my sister's house tomorrow they will be arriving back home they were abroad for two weeks they were just on a vacation so me and my mom we planned like a little fun thing tonight we're gonna go and stay at my sister's home we're gonna clean we bought them some little gifts and tomorrow they will arrive i think at 12 o'clock uh, p.m like uh, uh at noon so yeah um i hope it's gonna go successful and we're gonna have fun together and i miss them so bad especially my nephew now i'm gonna do tefakur session which means it is the end of this video we have come to an end of the video i mean after the tefakur session this video is gonna end i just cleaned my desk why is this happening anyways this video was really fun to film i challenged myself to wake up at 5 a.m and put hajjit for a week tomorrow i will try my best to wake up at 5 a.m on sunday i will also try to wake up at 5 a.m as well and i just want to keep doing this like not only special for this video but also like, for hopefully rest of my life i just want to like keep waking up and uh, keep waking up at 5 a.m and just keep praying tahajjud tahajjud brings peace tahajjud really brightens up your day and it's like the early hours of morning it they are healing you know they are very peaceful and you just feel like you're the only person in the world i know that sounds a bit terrifying but when you wake up at tahajjud and feel like you're the only person in the world that feeling kind of mm, satisfies you but like not in a bad way it's it's like there's only you and Allah and, and you just feel like a warm hug from Allah. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, anyways, um, I challenge you to wake up for Tajid. Not for a week. If that's too much for you, then at least try waking up tomorrow at 5 a.m. and pray Tajid. If you can also do it for a week, that's amazing. Do it for a week. And I hope we all will manage to do it until the end of our lives. Like praying Tajid, it really has immense rewards. Coming to today's Tafakkur session, it will be about... A very mm, deep topic actually two different deep topics um, I will not be talking a lot in this topic session but I just want to like point out the important things about both topics أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله الذي هدانا لهذا وما كنا لنحتذي لولا أن هدانا الله والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome to today's Tafakkur session In today's Tafakkur session I just wanted to talk about Jihad and Salah Both of them they have a significant meaning role in islam both of them are very very important and if we do both of them correctly in our lives inshallah as muslims then both of them have immense rewards that can even lead us to jannah itself inshallah i want to ask you what do you think of when you hear the word jihad what does jihad mean to you just think about that for a couple of minutes okay pause this video right now and think like what does jihad mean to me what is jihad in Islam? When I ask this question to most Muslims around me, they go like, mm, jihad means fighting with disbelievers in a war uh, only for the sake of Allah without thinking of this dunya, meaning the worldly life. Well, uh, that kind of, that expression is somewhat true. However, it actually is not the accurate and exact definition of the word jihad. It is just an example of jihad, but it's not what jihad actually means. So this leads us to the question, what is jihad actually? Jihad's dictional meaning is the spiritual struggle within oneself against sin. And so far, probably this is the best explanation of jihad in the shortest way possible. So but yeah, that's basically what jihad is. It's, it's fighting with the evil whisper in you. Uh, allow me to give you some examples, which will actually feel like a warm hug to you because I know you will relate to these examples more than anything. And maybe when I, like after I give you these examples, like these examples, uh, you'll probably notice that unintentionally you were committing jihad, which has really big rewards in Islam. Okay, so... The examples are, mm, let's say your alarm went off. 
for Fajr and you are snoozing it. One side of you says, get up, take wudu, perform Fajr. It will only take a couple of minutes, so just do it, you know. While the other side says, you're tired, you work all day, or you go to school, so just keep on sleeping. Allah understands, He's, you know, He forgives, and once you seek forgiveness from Him, He will forg forgive you anyway, right? But then after a couple of minutes, you actually decide to get up and take wudu, pray fajr, and go back to bed, or just move on with your day, which is even better. Now, after you debated between your evil and good whisper, you actually chose to listen to your good whisper, right? Because you took wudu and prayed fajr. So let me tell you one thing. Now that was jihad. And the reward of it is immense. It's, it's, um, it's big, it's huge. It's, the reward is unimaginable, actually. And another example is, you are hanging out with your friends and everyone is filthy talking behind this particular person, meaning backbiting about a particular person. And they ask your opinion regarding that person. They are like, mm, we think she's bad and jealous of us. What do you think, Hasna? What's your opinion? Please, like, we're curious about it. And now, here, your good whisper and your evil whisper starts debating with you once again. While the evil whisper says, you know, that person is bad and she has hurt you before, like in the past. So tell the truth and talk about that person. I mean, don't worry. You know she's bad. She has, she, she has hurt you in the past. So you, you will be speaking true, you know, not lie. Just do it, you know, go and talk about that person. And then the good whisper says, tell them kindly that you don't want to talk about her right now and change the topic. That will be better for you and for them. I know most of you who are watching this video right now, you're probably saying like, oh, come on, Hasna, we would probably, you know, choose the second one, the good whisper. Like we would try to change the topic and not talk about the person and backbite. That sounds easy, right? But in reality, it's not. It's, it's not easy to ignore backbiting in real life because the evil whisper just forces you, you know, like the evil whisper will do anything that is possible to make you commit sin. But at that moment, it's hard, it's difficult. Fighting with your nafs, fighting with your evil whisper is not easy. Just like I gave the Fajr example earlier, I, I'm sure like, m including me, we all must have been, oh, it's easy, like we, we would probably wake up for Fajr and go back to sleep. No, we all know very good that at that moment, waking up for Fajr, getting up from our warm beds and blankets, that's hard. It's difficult. Just like that, trying to ignore backbiting and changing the topic at that moment is also difficult. It sounds easy when you're talking about it, but when it comes to actions, it is difficult. That's why jihad has great rewards, because it is difficult, but it sounds easy. Didn't you notice one thing in Islam? Things that sound easy are usually difficult, and because of that, the reward is immense, just like patience. When we are not going through hardships and when our life is like, you know, normal and peaceful for some time, it's easy for us to say that, oh, uh, I would probably be patient if I face with a hardship because, you know, Allah loves those who are patient. But when you actually face with hardship, I am sure we all are like, it's so hard to stay patient. Like, I want Allah to help me and I just want to, you know, get away from this problem and blah, blah, blah. See? It's easy to say, but it's difficult to do. That's why in Islam, little things that are actually not so little have great rewards, just like patience and jihad. Anyways, coming back to the backbiting person. If you chose to listen to the good whisper and change the topic, then congratulations, you've just jihaded. May Allah reward you for that. When you fight with your inner evil whispers and win the fight, you will rank higher in the sight of Allah. Your level of taqwa will get higher in the sight of Allah. And only Allah knows who has the higher taqwa and the lower taqwa. Therefore, whenever we are struggling to wake up for fajr or struggling to not commit a sin, we have to remember it. If I actually listen to my you know, good whisper in me right now, my taqwa level will rank higher in the sight of Allah. So I have to do this. I have to listen to my good whisper. 
I have to be the higher mu'min, like the higher believer in the sight of Allah. The reward of jihad is actually greater than we think. Firstly, if one commits jihad, they will gain self-understanding, piety, mobilization, self-respect, expansion, and defense. And why defense? Because you just defense yourself from shaitan by doing jihad. Secondly, and I feel like the most important reward of jihad is Jannah is promised for those who do jihad in the way of Allah and only for Allah, only for the sake of Allah. If you're a good Muslim, a just Muslim, meaning a fair Muslim, a merciful Muslim, and you do jihad for the sake of Allah, then I do have good news for you. Insha'Allah, Jannah is your destination. Now coming to Salah. Salah is a very, very deep topic. Therefore, I'm not going to talk much about it in this topic session, but inshallah in the future, I will, whenever I have more knowledge about Salah and whenever Allah has willed for me to do a topic session regarding Salah, I will talk a bit deeply uh, about it. But right now, I like throughout this week when I was, you know, waking up for tafak, uh, I mean, waking up for tahajjud and doing the five daily prayers on time or trying to do them on time at least, I noticed one thing, and I just couldn't help but share it with you guys right now. Um, so basically, what I noticed this week is that Salah is definitely a miracle and an amazing option for us to reach Allah's divine blessing. Or actually not to reach, but like to gain Allah's divine blessing. I feel like divine blessing is the best, one of the best gifts of Allah, divine blessing. And divine blessing does not only mean like wealth or health or I don't know, like, you know, a successful career or building, building a perfect family. Those are not divine blessing. Little things can also be divine blessings, such as your favorite food or mm, time, for example. Oh my God, yes, time. I think it's the most important divine blessing. We all know, especially during this century and d during the past couple of years, time flies by so quickly i can't even believe that it has already been a, like almost a week since i started filming this vlog like i don't know how what happened on tuesday how wednesday went by what happened on thursday like like i with a blink of my eye the week just passed so divine blessing in time is actually the best gift of allah in my opinion and salah gives you that the more you do salah on time on time i'm talking about on time right now the more you pray on time the more allah gives you divine blessing blesses you with divine blessing just like i said earlier divine blessing is not only wealth and health but also time i tried to pray mostly right on time throughout this whole week and what i noticed is that the more i prayed right after the prayer called the alban called the more my day got longer it's not about only waking up early. You know when people say when you wake up early, you have more time and you will notice like the time is not actually flying by quickly. It was you and your to-do list. No, it's not only about waking up early. It's also about praying on time. Even Isha, I prayed Isha on time. Whenever I, I used to look at the time, I was like, oh my God, it's only like 8 p.m. Wait, what? Because on the night when I used to pray Isha around like 10 p.m., I would always look at the time and time, the time would be like 11 p.m. Like, oh my God, I had to sleep. It's 11 p.m. Like how? But then I prayed Aisha right after the Aisha Adhan called. And I looked at, at the time. I'm like, what? It's like 7.30 right now, 7.30 p.m. I have a lot of time to just sit and like watch a drama or read a book or edit a video. Yeah, so long story short, that's what I noticed about Salah. The more you obey Allah's call, Allah's invitation five times a day, the more he will also obey your time and increase your time. And that's such an amazing business, isn't it? Like, I know you might be like, but Husna, that doesn't make sense. Like, it, it, it does. You are basically building a business with Allah, the creator, and he is the owner of the time as well. Come on, think deeply about it, okay? I know, I know you understood it. Amazing, mashallah. I want this tafak session to be a sign for you. Okay, set a goal for yourself. Starting from next week, I will pray at least one tahajjud. And the second week, two tahajjud. Third week, three tahajjud. Fourth week, four tahajjud. And then when it comes to seven week, it means seven tahajjud, meaning seven day, which is actually a week. And from that, you, it will become a habit. Every day, 
you will suddenly find yourself waking for tajjid before your alarm goes off inshallah Insha so uh yeah thank you so much uh, for listening to this topic session for watching this video um i appreciate all of your love and, and your support especially on my recent topic sessions i am very i i love to do topic sessions with you guys i love you guys so much may allah bless you and protect you stay safe bye oh ma'asalam bye <laughs> Ooh. Mm -hmm.